Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all of the badges in the most recent Dress to Impress update. Make sure to subscribe for more Dress to Impress content because I am on the road to 5,000 subscribers. So if you didn't know already, Dress to Impress released this huge update today, and there was so much stuff added, but something that they added was lore for their nail tech Lana. So they created a completely new game just for for her lore and there is a bunch of badges that you can collect from that game and there is a secret quest which unlocks a dress and gives you currency in the game so for the badge follow the flowers all you have to do is join the game so I'm gonna show you guys how you can find the game and join it okay so here is the game and here are all of the badges that i'm going to be showing you guys how to get in this video but how you find this game is by searching up the roblox user lana does nails and then click on the game and then you click play and you will get the follow the flowers badge okay so i'm going to be showing you guys how to get the meeting ground badge so all you're going to do is just follow exactly where i go Okay, so once you're at the bridge, what you're going to do is open up your settings and then go to movement mode and change it to click to move. And then I'm going to explain how this works. Okay, so you are going to right click the other side over there. And once you do that, just let go, put your hands up in the air and just let your character walk to the other side. And that's literally all you have to do to get the badge. Once you're over there, it'll automatically give you the badge. Okay, so make sure to reset. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the keys and lockets badge now. So all you have to do is just follow exactly where I go.
Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to get the Symphony of Knox badge as well. So just follow exactly where I go once again. Okay, so once you're over here, you're going to look at that brick wall and then you're going to look at the pillars that are right next to it. And what you're going to do is you're just going to climb up and just spam jump and go up the pillar. And what you're going to do is you're going to climb over the wall. I do fall a couple of times, but um, <laughs> the tip for getting over the wall is just to shift and jump when you're at the last pillar i i do make a lot of mistakes here so just ignore that but once you're at the last pillar like right next to the wall like right here shift and jump and don't make the same mistake that i do Okay, so now you're just going to follow exactly where I go. I do stop for a second in this clip and then Lana tries to literally kill me. But what you're going to do is you're just going to look for a shed and if you stand next to it, you get the badge. So now I'm going to show you guys how to get the letters of the past badge. So you're going to go right back to the same place that you got the meeting ground badge, which is that little bridge. So just follow exactly where I go. Okay, so once you're at the bridge, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the very beginning of the bridge and move your camera so you can see kind of below. And there's like a little wooden platform, so you're just going to jump down there and then follow the tunnel down. And then once you get down there, you're going to get the badge. Okay, so in this video, I actually don't show you guys how to do the final activation or the maze badge. I did do an entire video doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get those badges. So that video will be linked in the description down below. And those are the badges that will help you get the dress and the currency in Dress to Impress. And the last badge is when you get absolutely all the badges. It'll automatically give it to you as soon as you get all the badges. Thank you.